Check out our new iPhone application to keep track of your orchids. Link in the description box. Hi there! This video is going to be about Phalaenopsis keikis. I'm going to show you all my Phalaenopsis keikis, tell you a bit about their history, how long I've had them and so on. I'm going to let you know which Phalaenopsis species are most likely to provide you with an abundance of keikis to share with other orchid friends, tell you when to remove a Phalaenopsis keiki, and I'm going to address an important term that helped me understand why Phalaenopsis orchids produce keikis in the first place. Before we get into the topic, I'd like to mention again that it's never necessary to buy wild collected orchid species. Please wait until propagated plants appear on the market or just swap a keiki with another orchid friend. Let's get started. As far as I know, species of all sections of the genus Phalaenopsis can theoretically produce keikis, but there are certainly a few that produce keikis more likely than others. And I'm going to show you a few of them. Let's get started with the section Phalaenopsis. I'd like to start with my Phalaenopsis Schilleriana, the one with the mottled leaves over here. I really love the dark green spots on the silvery background. I've had it for about one and a half years. And why is it in this video? Because it's a basal khaki. Here you see the rather unsightly cutting wound. And it has produced a very nice root system since I got it. And is actively growing leaves. But they are not as broad as the old leaves, like this one here. Also look at the underside of the leaves. Beautiful purple. I'm hoping for flowers in spring, but maybe I have to wait another year. And this one here is Phalaenopsis maculata. I've only had it for a couple of months. And here's its first spike with one bud. That's so nice. It didn't have this spike when I got it. And over here, this is a Phalaenopsis equestris keiki. This keiki is one that I removed a couple of weeks ago from this little mother plant. And I think this is a good example of a plant that had enough of growing keikis. It had one keiki here at the end of the flower spike and also one at the end of this flower spike. And you can see that this keiki was growing here is almost as big as the mother plant and I noticed that the plant had enough because this leaf stayed quite small and usually keikis are not a burden for the mother plant they can perform photosynthesis but in this case when the mother plant shows signs of weakening it's time to remove a Phalaenopsis keiki otherwise if the mother plant isn't stressed out, it can stay at the mother plant as long as you wish. Phalaenopsis equestris plants can grow quite big, but I got this plant. Let me take a look at my notes. I got this plant four years ago and it didn't really grow much. So if you pot it in a small pot and don't feed it too well, it can stay quite small. It will bloom, it will produce a good amount of keikis, but it won't grow as big. So if you have a space problem and love keikis, Phalaenopsis equestris is the one to go for. Yeah, and over here, we are in the middle here, that's the hybrid section. That's a hybrid between Phalaenopsis manii, which is in the section Polychylus, but I don't have it, and Phalaenopsis schilleriana in the section Phalaenopsis. And you can see that this primary hybrid inherited the beautiful mottling of the leaves of Phalaenopsis schilleriana and also 
the beautiful on the side, the purple on the side of the leaves. Just lovely. And it's always in time. Here's a flower spike that will bloom in spring. And as you might recall, I had some problems with this plant. It grew a spike right out of the crown. And the crown was kind of damaged. It did grow one healthy leaf, surprisingly, but then it grew this wrinkly leaf. And the next leaf, this one, was wrinkly in the beginning too. And now the plant has made this really long but not very broad new leaf. I think it's struggling, but it's recovering. And why is this plant in a keiki video? It's because it's a basil keiki itself. I think I have some footage where I can show you the beginnings of this plant. There's nothing left of the mother plant. And here, this is a hybrid that you probably know. It's Phalaenopsis Leodoro or Sweet Memory. And I don't know if these two larger plants are keikis themselves, but this plant has two keikis. One at the spike and a basil keiki over here. And I won't remove this basil keiki. There's no reason to remove it. It's growing roots and it's performing photosynthesis. And if I would remove it, there would be a wound here. And I would have another orchid that I would have to pot up. And I don't have space for many more orchids, so I'll just leave it as it is. And here we have a keiki of this mother plant, which is a keiki itself, that I got about, I don't even know, six years ago by another orchid friend. And it did do well until I messed it up with a very rough repotting. After that, it stopped growing. This was its last leaf, and it stayed like this for two years, I think. And now, just recently, a very new leaf has appeared. I don't know if it will make it. So it started growing again, and in the meantime, it had produced keikis here and also this one here. And here's the important term I'd like to address that helped me understand why keikis are being produced when a mother plant has crown rod, for example. The term is apical dominance. Apical dominance is the plant hormone-based mechanism due to which a monopodial orchid usually grows in one direction only without branching out. But when the apical dominance of a fell has been suppressed, disturbed or interrupted, I think this one has been disturbed somehow, keikis begin to develop from dormant nodes on flower spikes, like here, or also at the base of the stem. In this case, keikis are the orchid's last and most effective chance to propagate it's a self-preserving mechanism. And now this plant has begun to grow again. But in case of stem rot, the mother plant is not able to start growing again. So it's starting survival mode. And I have a quite impressive example that I'd like to show you. This is a sister plant of these Phalaenopsis ludemannianas here. And it was a weak plant when I got it. It had some kind of a deformation of the crown. It would never be able to grow upwards again. That's why it started to produce a massive amount of keikis. On every single node on the flower spikes, a new keiki was appearing. And the keikis consumed the mother plant until it died. 
And here's another example of a plant whose apical dominance was disturbed. This orchid is a deciduous species, Phalaenopsis lowii. But in this case, the leaves got destroyed. They got cooked in the indoor greenhouse and rotted. I didn't know whether or not the crown was still intact. And then I noticed a little thing down here, a basil khaki. And shortly after, a new leaf appeared, so the crown was still intact. It just got interrupted and continued growing later on, together with its basil khaki. Okay, back to the orchids here. On the left hand side, here's the khaki that I just removed a couple of weeks ago of my Phalaenopsis hieroglyphica variation alba. And this one is a khaki that I got over one and a half years ago and it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, it grew a couple of roots, but apart from that, it didn't do anything. And just a couple of days ago, I noticed the first leaf, the very first leaf in my care. Yay, finally! <laughs> but you can see that even if you provide quite good conditions and I really did my best for this one, they might take a few years to adapt. So one and a half in this case, but usually it doesn't take as long. So you can see this one has just been removed from its mother plant and it's already growing new roots in the medium and a new leaf has appeared. So this one took only a couple of weeks to start growing again. And down here, these are two keikis of Phalaenopsis pulchra. And the mother plant was very weak when I got it. About five years ago, I removed the keikis about Four years ago the mother plant died and the keikis were really small. If you have keikis that you have to remove too early, maybe because the flower spike is becoming yellow, I would recommend placing them in a humid and warm place, like I did with these two, but they really took quite a while. But I love the flower of the mother plant, so it's really worth waiting for these two. And Phalaenopsis pulchra is very closely related to Phalaenopsis hieroglyphica and also to Phalaenopsis ludemanniana here and here. And these are the sister plants of the one that died, the one with a massive amount of keikis, the one with a deformation of the crown. And you can see that this one is not the strongest plant either. It has a basal keiki here and this one it's doing okay, but the root system isn't as good at the moment, so I hope it's going to recover eventually. This one that I got three years ago, it was a keiki itself. It flowered for the first time this year for me, and now it has begun to grow the keiki itself. Yeah, what else do we have? We have these two here. From other sections. This one is Phalaenopsis Siam Treasure and I got it as a small keiki about one and a half years ago. It started to grow roots and that was all it did for a while and this year it grew two nice leaves. It lost a couple of its leaves and that didn't look nice. I was quite worried but it's doing okay. It just rejuvenated a bit. And this one is a basil keiki. You can see the cutting wound up here in the middle of the screen. And it's a cross between Wilsonii and Brassiana. And it's interesting because I got this plant without leaves. There was one old leaf of the mother plant somewhere here or there. And then this stump grew the keiki down here. And then it developed nice leaves. Now it's a bit sad. I really need to repot it or rather 
up potted so that all the roots, the aerial roots, will be able to receive some moisture because this plant is a bit dehydrated at the moment. Yeah, I think that was it. I hope you enjoyed this keiki update. Let me know if you are growing Phalaenopsis keikis and if you are interested in more Phalaenopsis keiki videos. Until next time, happy growing to all of you. Happy keiki growing. Bye bye.